6 Unsung Performance Heroes Americans Didn't Notice Before we get started, we have some exciting news. If you're a fan of Formula 1, racing and much more, then check out our new YouTube channel, WTF1. To celebrate, we're giving away an awesome bundle of car throttle and WTF1 snapbacks, t-shirts and keychains to a new lucky subscriber. To be in with a chance of winning, all you need to do is click the I in the top right corner, head over to WTF1 and hit that subscribe button. The lucky random winner will be announced in next week's video. Now, let's do this! Usually, an infusion of horsepower is all it takes to get noticed in the US automotive market. For whatever reasons though, these performance machines didn't get the attention they deserved. Mazda Speed Protégé Long before the legend of the Mazda Speed 3, there was the Mazda Speed Protégé. This chunky sport compact was only offered in North America and only in 2003, but its 2.0-litre turbocharged 4-pot delivered 170 bhp and was easily tunable to make much more. Equally impressive was the suspension tuning and factory limited slip differential, which gave the Protégé seriously sharp handling for a front-wheel driver even by modern standards. Pontiac Bonneville GXP The Bonneville name ended its 47-year run in 2005, and it went out with something of a bang. The full-size GXP was given a version of Cadillac's 32-valve Northstar V8, making a smooth 275 bhp driving the front wheels. It wasn't particularly fast, but the big GXP still had guts to hang with many sport compacts of the day, and it handled surprisingly well for something so large. Ford SVT Contour The Ford Mondeo has long enjoyed success across the pond, but its American Contour cousin was never much of a hit among buyers. Even with an SVT makeover in 1998 to produce 200 horsepower and with epic suspension tuning, it wasn't enough to impress. The Contour disappeared in 2000 after just a five-year run, and though the SVT variant does have a small cult following, its smooth 2.5 V6 and go-kart reflexes remain unknown to many American enthusiasts. Mitsubishi Eclipse GT The first two Eclipse generations will be forever immortalized in the sport compact scene, and rightfully so. The third generation was very much a step in the wrong direction, leading people to overlook the good things that made the fourth and final generation so good. Aside from styling improvements, it was the fastest factory Eclipse of them all, with a 263 bhp V6 and manual gear box turning the front wheels. It handled well, and though it couldn't pull off wicked all-wheel drive donuts, it was still a surprisingly athletic performer. Nissan Altima SER The Nissan faithful have long known about the sleeper status of an Altima equipped with a 3.5-litre V6 and 5-speed stick. Nissan engineers figured this out, and in 2005 redressed the Altima's rental car appearance to something a bit sportier. They also bumped the VQ35 to 260 bhp, added a sixth cog to the gearbox and buttoned up the suspension. In truth, it wasn't much of a performance improvement over the regular 3.5 Ultima, but it did have a bit more swagger for the sports sedan enthusiast who liked emphasis on the sport. Chrysler Crossfire SRT6 Did you know that there was an SRT version of that Mercedes-based retro-style Chrysler from the mid-2000s? Not only that, but it also borrowed AMG parts to make 330 30 bhp, and with 3,300 pounds or 1,500 kilograms to contend with, this glorified rear-wheel drive hairdresser's car was damn fast. But the SRT6 pulled too many strings in too many directions. It wasn't quite macho enough for the enthusiasts, plus it lacked a manual gearbox. On the other side, it was too hardcore for typical Crossfire buyers. Hence, its obscure existence despite being a uniquely handsome and capable performer. What other unsung performance heroes can you think of? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. In today's episode, I'm going to be putting new wheels and tyres onto my IS200 Sport to see how much faster I can make it. So they're 17s, these are 16s. So we're going down a size, but it's going to look epic.